Guys, this is Ludwig, and today we will break down what just happened. All right, so I'm running this. Uh, it's basically an HGI build, but 
I'd say it's a glass cannon build, the all in strat with no consequences uh, after all the buffs run out. So uh, here's the DB build, and then I'll show you I guess everything that I have here. Uh, first of all, two Skyrims. Uh, you can see that I didn't even finish the bondage on this weapon yet. Uh, so these are mainly just for the stats because currently for one hand sword there's not really anything that's good out there It's just um, Weapons with good stats and then there's nothing that has a good passive yet um, So just use these and then for the armor um, I'm using steel riding armor. Uh, this one's from the legendary blacksmith uh, Well, you could also use the azurite armor. I think it's the one from the north raid uh, it gives the pursuit plus one. Uh, however, I kind of like this one a little bit better because uh, I don't see the benefits of stacking too much pursuit. All right, so also don't forget to be the BD incarnation. This is super OP. Okay, then this one gauntlets. So these are it's mainly for stats, and then this uh, I think you get this from the West raid. Yeah, so this is a very newbie friendly thing to farm, and then if you're just starting out, you can, as long as you're level 50, you should be able to farm this. Uh, just go into the dungeon, farm it, then get out, rinse and repeat. Or even better, if you can, if you can have like some people to carry you in the farm route, that would be even better. Alright, so Pistol Gauntlets, and then it mainly is for the ACI. Um, and passive is pretty nice. Okay, and then Merchant Boots. Now this is a... I would, I would say it's not really that key, it's mainly for this passive. So Killing Blow, um, if you know Bandai's math calculations very well, you know that they'd like to do a lot of the additive math. So Critical should be 150% of your normal damage, if you add a 30% then it would be 180% of your normal damage. And I'm going to stack this twice and as I'm going to use it in my passive as well. So that's a plus 30%. It's around plus 12% DPS, I would say. If we stack it a second time, it's a little bit less, but it's still pretty powerful. Now, I could exchange it with... Um, Alright, this. So sometimes I like to use the Bygone Ring, because it feels really nice to have 400 AGI. <laughs> and, but if I'm going for the all-in, then this... This is actually more DPS. Alright, so those are equips. Uh, now, I guess let's get the skills first. Okay, so first of all, I start my buffs with the one-handed sword, and then I do it in this order, galvanize. So, fill up my arscotch immediately, and then use up my mana while it's full. It's a warrior woodline, skill power, and a reaper's wrath. Uh, Reaper's Wrath is 35% yeah, critical rate and then a lot of chambers. And finally into Sword of Goddess, so attack speed. Alright, so one thing about damage calculation is stacking attack in this game. It's not useful as long as you have above, I would say 350 attack, which I will get after buffs. Then stacking attack beyond that is useless according to the damage calculation. So you can see all, I'm going to remove basically anything about attack here, because it's kind of useless. Okay, so I usually go in disorder, top, left, down, I just spam those buffs. And then the passes are just to, um, no, not this one, yeah, top, disorder. Now the passes are just to let me use a little bit less SP, um, or not, yeah, you just need these two basically. Alright, and then I equip my dual blade. Uh, give me the, those 10 second dual blades. And then, God, God of Warrior. Okay, so this is really important. Physical double is um, it's a barrier, and then you get to tank 6 hits for free. So, it's kind of why this build makes sense. It's because it, I can build the 6 barriers. Now, there is a. Now, you can find it over here. God of Warrior. There is a very nice passive, this over here, Pursuit plus one. So you can get another Pursuit from using it at the cost of 1,000, your entire Art Scotch. Now this is why I used Galvanize earlier on the one hand sword part, so that I'm, I might, I could activate this if I want to. 
Um, now normally I wouldn't eat it because I, I usually prefer the straight up burst from the Arts Garage or the Enhanced Armament, Finish Arts, whatever you call it. Uh, but sometimes if you uh, if you prefer to go with the plus to follow up attack build, then you could unlock this. I usually don't though. Okay. So that's the most important skill here. Next is Moral Boost, go back to full mana and then 400 SP max. So this is also really important. It allows you to do the combo finish into chain 1, chain 2, and finish off with a starburst stream. And that's a 4 chain combo, or I guess a 3 chain combo as they call it. A 3 skill connect. Now. And then I actually equip this as well, so that on my third skill connect, the starburst string will, it's supposed to get a plus 30% damage or whatever it gives on the last chain. And I also use Building Blossom to make sure that I can get all the skill connect DXs. Uh, I'm not sure what you're supposed to do to get the successes actually, so I just use this to make sure I get them guaranteed. Alright, and finally Fire Spark. Fire Spark is super OP even without the other buffs. Uh, Solar Burst Chain. Mm, so it stacks with your party's Burst Chain. So basically, you press a lot of ones on everyone. That's a level 1 chain. Your own chain stacks up to level 2, and then you can keep on repeating again. So you stack up to level 4 really fast with this guy. Okay, now one thing to note is that the skills have to be in this order. Or for the most part, because Fire Spark, uh, I tried it. I tried putting it on the one hand sword part. It did not work out for some reason. You have to put it on the dual blade part for it to actually work. Okay, and then for EX skill, um, you guys can check out Parasic's guide for what the EX skill do. I didn't find anything useful in there. Uh, Berserker is like plus twenty percent attack, but we just mentioned attack is useless. Attacker is also plus 10% attack, which is kind of useless. Uh, the one thing I found reasonably good with Scout, it gives you better SP regen. So it can stack up back to 400 SP really fast. Um, some, of them, some, somebody, some of them like to use the debuffer build, but you can, you'll see that I use all my debuffs on Alice. Alright, so let's go to Alice or the debuffer. Okay, so first of all, her build, I stack Dexterity and Special Accuracy on her. So these equipments, these are really easy to farm, close the trinkle he is. Um, I think it's from West Raid, that one. It, it's annoying to farm, but it's really easy to get it. It takes like 10 minutes to run, but it's like, real, it's like really annoying to get, but it is like easy to farm. Uh, Galactic Jewel, uh, oh, this is just for stats. You can also use a Skyrim if you're that rich. Like on Talisman. Okay, I honestly forgot where this is from. I think it's South Ring, but I literally forgot. Anyways, it's mainly for the decks and special accuracy. Uh, finally, Basaurine. So, I've done almost a hundred runs on East. Well, because, you know, I, I literally one shot it. And I have yet to get a thing, any bits better than this one. <laughs> so, this is what I'm using for now. Ideally, you get like 68 dexterity or like above 60 dexterity on this one. And then Alice's accuracy would be, well, above 180 at least. Um, I didn't really train her, so I, I guess you could go like a lot higher if I trained her one hand sword proficiency. Alright, spending so for active though, what's that is really broken. Uh, it's a guaranteed land. It's basically the... Okay, I forgot what it's called. Yeah, Rule by Strong. It's basically Rule by Strong, but it's guaranteed land. And then it's a 90 second debuff. Alright, and then let's check out our passives. Okay, so actives first. Uh, Hand of the Abyss. This is to make sure you land your debuffs. Um, so I'm not sure if Mind Break is debuff or not, to be honest, but I just use it anyways because, well, there's not really much to use anyways, I heard. Uh, Wits End, OP skill, Morale Boost, that's just to make sure that I can use my Mind Break anytime I want. Alright, and then 
The passages are pretty important, special accuracy, special accuracy. Uh, I put rule strong over here because there's not really much to do, do. but I guess you, you could put in, I guess, plus 15% accuracy over here if you really want it. Knife for weakness, has a break time. Um, yeah, you, you can switch this around, this is not that useful. Okay, now that's the main thing going on for Alice. Also, most importantly, the debuffer EX skill is really important. Uh, now for Kirito, this skill connect EX, it's not necessary. I switch it around with okay, two contenders a lot. Uh, because as much as I'd like to use the combo finisher, a lot of bosses they just don't allow me to use the combo finisher on them, so I just have to deal with it. And I have to do like one, two, four. If that's the case, then I would just use that, the two contenders, and then... I'm not too sure how skill power is calculated, but I assume that it stacks with all the skill power I already have, which is around like plus 100% skill power I already have. Uh, so it's not that useful to be honest, but better than nothing. Okay, and finally for the buffers, now they're not that important. You don't even have... To, yeah, you don't really need them, but... If you want to go full Einz mode, well, I'm doing this for now. Uh, warrior mode line. Okay, so uh, before that, let's go to the records. So they have the born leader record. This is from Berkeley. Yeah, Broccoli. Broccoli, Berkeley. So it allows them to stack their solo buffs on the entire party, which is kind of OP. I wouldn't say it's broken, because the buffs are not that useful. And then, well, I guess Mother Leaf, well, and the Anima is not that important. Yeah, so I have one leader on both of them. Okay. And then, so I can use Warrior Bloodline, and then it transfers over its entire party. Reaper's Wrath, really OP. Sword of the Goddess. So basically, I stack skill speed 200%, or 75%. Chain burst up to 100%. Critical rate, it, well, if this stacks, it's a 100% crit rate. <laughs> and skill power, yeah, so I stack a lot of stuff here. Right, and the same for rail now. I put them, I also put galvanize on them so that I can have some free finish arts. Okay, great, and then for passives, it's, well, whatever you can put with over here. As most importantly, it's assess because I'm soon. Oh, and then two contenders, well, I guess I am a little bit religious here. I believe skill power might affect the buffs somehow. <laughs> I'm not sure. Probably not, but I'll just put it here anyways, just in case it does. Okay, and then I think that's it for the build. And then finally the records for my own character. So, I do Swordmaster. So this is from Shaito. Uh, stacks my chain attack damage, that chain thing. Uh, now, when I'm doing solo, I could use Fiery, but against raid bosses, I don't really find it useful, because they die really fast anyways. <laughs> so, Fiery is like plus 50% crit rate, um, but I can stack it from Reaper's Wrath, so but it's not really that useful. Swordmaster, uh, honestly it's not that useful either, there's only plus 10% chain damage. Uh, I prefer a plus like 50 or something, that would be pretty OP. Okay, uptight. Um, so this is, I mean, better than nothing basically. Increased attack. It's not that useful, but better than nothing. There's really, literally nothing else to use here. Alright, and then for Alice, we have... Inquisitive. What does that do? Reduced SP cost? Okay. Um, yeah, there's not much to build on her, I think, yeah, so I'm just using whatever. Okay, great, yeah, I think that's the entire build, actually. Okay, great, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and then there is still one boss that I have trouble fighting right now, it's the Whale Divine Beast, uh, hopefully I'll be able to release a video on how to do that. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you next time.